village is set in a crevice within the mountains which is why it's such a hidden location what we're going to try and do is go around like in a spiral from the top down to the bottom and we'll end in the central square of this place first of all we're going to be heading up this hillside where there's lots of family tombs Around here, you can see that they're planting potatoes. And this is all rapeseed, which can be made into oil. We're coming up into a tomb area now, like a small cemetery. What's interesting here is that most of the families have the same name. So you can see it's Hong, it says Hong Ming Chi Mo, which means like the Hong clan's tomb. Most of the people in this village are related to each other. There's only about 200 houses in the village and most of the people are related by blood or by marriage. Hong means to flood. I'm not sure what the relevance of that name is in this place. Wow, it's super hot now. It's very common that people plant their vegetables and their crops on top of the tombs as well. Look, here you can see another tomb. This is quite an elaborate tomb. You can see on the left, there's a phoenix, and on the right, there's a dragon. The phoenix represents females, the dragon represents males. So this is probably a couple's tomb, a husband and a wife. How sad. Lots of these little wild strawberries that grow everywhere. They don't have much flavour though. This is the first abandoned house that we're going to explore. I snuck in here last evening to uh, take a look. Lots of stuff from the 1980s, 1990s. Hasn't been open in a long time. Let's sneak in again. We're right out in the countryside, so lots of the villagers have these satellite dishes. Ah, oh, look at these door handles. Look, you can see there's comic books from 1996. This book is called Junior English for China. You can see these two characters were called Lucy and Lily. And this is where a lot of the 1990s generation, they learned their English from. Let's see what kind of things they're saying. I guess that's their mum. Oh, good evening. May I speak to Anne, please? 
Certainly, one moment. Anne here. Oh, hello, Anne. This is Jim. Jim Green? Oh, hi, Jim. Wow. It's a birthday party. There's lots of VCDs. In China, they didn't really use VHS. They used more VCDs. We better lock it again. So we don't know I've been in here. Wow, look at all these pretty little paintings around the windows. Use your own force to become more powerful. This one's completely collapsed though. Oh, somebody's left the keys in this one. Oh, it's a pigsty. It sticks. Well, this one's kind of creepy. It's nice and cool in here, though. Some kind of family shrine. All the people will look similar, don't they? I think they love Chem and Mao in this place. <coughs> this is Chung Liu Hai Yuan. It's a long flow back to the source. You can see where lots of communist slogans have been washed off the walls, changing through every regime.
Wow. It's a coffin. Two coffins, I think. Oh, super heavy. Nothing in it though. Mm. I'm not sure about her. It's quite common in old villages like this that the old people would invest in a coffin early. And it's like an investment in death real estate. So they would keep these coffins in the house until the old person passes and then they're ready to go. I guess it's quite sensible really. Uh, one of these would probably cost a lot of money. I'm not sure what these two are doing in here. Of course we've seen this before when we went to the overgrown island. There are rooms full of coffins waiting to be occupied. You can check that out in the video in the top right hand corner. Really interesting exploration. I might go back there again soon actually. You can see in this doorway above me, they've painted out something traditional and put which means socialism is good. It's like they've been trying to whitewash this whole community with socialism and Maoist thought. I wonder how the locals felt about having their traditional culture wiped out. Again, if you look closely above this doorway, you can see something traditional has been painted out. They put in Mao Zedong, Chairman Mao, Mao Zhuyi Wan Sui. We hope that Chairman Mao will live for 10,000 years. And underneath it, it says Zhong. And that means like uh, loyal. So maybe the people that lived in this house were loyal to Chairman Mao. It's all falling down now though. Oh, looks like this one is open. See the coffin there? Oh. It's a cover for one of the big thermos bottles they keep hot water in. It's a family shrine, but then they got a picture of Chairman Mao in here. Well, they really loved that guy. Whew, smells like pig shit. Must be a pig nearby. Oh, there's our pig. Why are you in the dark? You look a bit sad. Do you have a name? Just Oink. Yeah? I'm afraid you smell terrible. Like the drying out bamboo. Bamboo, bamboo, bamboo. Bamboo shoots. 
not my cup of tea. Looks like there was a wedding. Jesus, what's in here? It's a guy getting some rice. Some kind of town shrine. It's like little Beijing opera. I guess this is someone who's passed away recently. Some kind of communist poster. It's like an old lady helping a young lady wear her communist uniform. And look, you got radio and stuff and sheep. Little peaches, too. Peach represents long life. <笑>嗯好的 Again, look, it says Mao Zedong, which means Chairman Mao, something, 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 which I can't read. I think I can hear another pig. Two pigs. Oh, you guys are so pretty. Do you have names? Hmm? You're not going to bite me, are you? You're so pretty. You look like my dog. Girls are so pretty. 